Right here is the PS5, and I'm gonna be turning it into a gaming PC. So right here is the actual PS5. This is the PS5 Slim Edition, and it's a really clean looking PS5, as you guys can see. It has a bunch of ports on the back. And overall, the like, aesthetic of this is actually really nice. It has one line going through the middle, and it costs around $500. As you guys can see, the PlayStation logo is right there, and overall, the PS5 is not actually that heavy as I thought it would be. But overall, the design and the airflow should be all good, to be honest. As you guys know, this is the PS5. It costs around $500, and overall, it's a really good console that can run 120fps on max settings, which is really, really good for a console. If you guys are wondering the specs, this is the PS5 Slim Edition with without the disc drive, as you guys can see. It has two USB-C ports, two USB 3.1s and one Ethernet port. The CPU on this AMD Ryzen Gen 2 with 8 core, 16 threads and is clocked at 3.5 GHz which is insane for a console. And the GPU is the AMD Radeon RDNA 2 at 2.23 GHz and in this tiny console it's actually crazy that you can fit those specs inside of here. And it still performs really really good without any overheating or anything. It has GDDR6 RAM and, it's and it has 16 gigabytes. And overall, the PS5 looks really, really good as you guys can see. Uh, like I said, it's not heavy at all. And yeah, overall, it just looks really clean and it has good ventilation. Now we've talked about the PS5, let's talk about what comes with the PS5. Right here is the PS5 controller. As you guys can see, it looks really, really clean with the black and white aesthetic. And overall, the buttons on this feel really nice. And I obviously just prefer this over an Xbox controller, and this was just feels and the shape of this feels way better. And I love the button layer on this controller compared to any other controller. And overall, this is just a really good controller, especially it matches the PS5. And next, what comes with it is this power cable. Now we talk about everything else. Here's the power cable which comes with it. It's a, I don't even know what you would call this, but it has a plug and then the thing that goes into the PS5 at the back of the PS5. It obviously comes with this, otherwise you can't really turn it on. It does come with a HDMI port and the charger, but obviously I don't have it on me right now. But now let's quickly talk about the peripherals I'll be using to turn this PS5 into a gaming PC. Next for the peripherals, I'll be using this keyboard, which is the OLED F75 wireless keyboard. It has a really nice black and yellow design. It has some great accents and everything. It has a USB and 2.4 gigahertz as well. Obviously it's wireless, wired and I think Bluetooth as well. It also sounds really nice. Yeah, and overall the looks on this, it feels really good. Obviously on the back it has the feet. And overall the actual aesthetic of this, it also has a volume knob which is really really good for an editor like me. Since I may need to turn the volume really low or really high just to you know understand how it is and overall that's really really good next is the best budget gaming mouse on the market this is the glorious model o it's probably the best mouse you can get weighing around 57 grams and it also has a honeycomb design which looks really really clean and it only costs around 30 dollars which is the best deal you can get on a mouse this mouse obviously has a honeycomb design it's very lightweight and the buttons on it feel really really good also has an infinite scroll wheel which can scroll infinitely has two side buttons and the glorious logo and on the back you, can get, you guys can see the sensor and overall this mouse is really really good especially for the price you guys might have watched my last video where i announced a giveaway for a keyboard this keyboard is a keymove t68c which has magnetic switches i'm going to be making a full review on this keyboard very soon but the winner of the giveaway was actually gold expert so congratulations for you on winning you dm me on discord and i can just send your address so i can send it to the company and you will receive your keyboard within a, within around two weeks i think and overall it's a really good keyboard it's arriving tomorrow for me and i'll be able to make a full review on it making you guys know how it is how good it is and overall just talk about the keyboard entirely but before I be go and set this up, we need to talk about today's sponsor. So let's quickly get straight into that. And this video is sponsored by Fifine Ampli Game on their D6 programmable stream controller. So let's quickly get into the unboxing. Right here you guys can see the D6 stream controller. And it says for stream and studio. As you guys can see, there's a little picture of it and it looks really, really clean. It has switchable RGB and it's compatible with OBS. Which is a must have for streamers. As you guys can see, it's made by Ampli Game and Fifine and the box looks really clean. On the side of the box, you guys can see a visible LCD keyboard and some extra stuff like programmable macro keys. And on the back of the box, you guys can see it's a D6 and what the box includes. So let's quickly get into the unboxing. Once you open the box, you're welcome with this instruction manual, which is how it's set it up and how it works. And it's just a little user guide for someone that needs it. And under that, there's a massive styrofoam block to protect the 
obviously the screen deck and it's actually really really good quality since it obviously protected it and right here is the screen deck so if we pull it out right here you guys will be able to see it and it has this nice plastic peel on it and overall the design on this looks really really clean it has rgb going around the sides and the back has a nice little fee and here's the little peel it has 15 programmable macro keys which you guys can set to anything and it's compatible with obs right here is the cable to connect it to your pc and i think it works on laptop and everything else as well it's usb 3.0 to a usb c cable and overall this unboxing experience was amazing if you guys are trying to check this out check the link in the description and thanks to five for sponsoring this video so let's quickly get back to testing the ps5 all right so right now i'm in the vanman zero delay map on my playstation 5 account and as you guys can see i'm holding consistently 120 fps why is the playstation ai right here all right forget it all right but look i'm like even building it dropped to 118 it's still averaging around 121 it just dropped sometime down to 130 but very rarely but overall it's performing very very well i'm very rusty on you know keyboard and mouse especially on this since it has slight delay since that's what consoles has when you're using keyboard and mouse input but overall it's still really really smooth like i could actually play on this and i still have really good internet it might be because of the ps5 or just could have good internet i'm not actually sure or it's actually very much a zero delay map but overall this is really really smooth and i literally feel like i'm playing on pc as you guys can see the graphics are really really good like the build details compared to like a pc performance mode but the one problem is you can't put performance mode on you know ps5 you can have 120 fps mode on but nothing really else you can you know customize that's the only downside of having a console you can't really you know browse the internet do your homework stuff like that but overall this is actually really really good as you guys can see the lighting is still really good i'm still holding consistent 120 fps so let's quickly get into a rank reload game all right right here i am on the you know spawn island that i'm really just hitting the gritty right now the graphics still look insane as you guys can see i'm holding 120 fps consistently always around 121 which is very i just saw 142 right there which is actually insane since it's like a 500 dollar console and overall this is a really really good console it's holding the frame rate perfectly considering the max fps on this was meant to be 120 and i'm getting more than that is actually insane especially that these graphics look insanely cool like look at the you know lighting of the chest it like glows everywhere and overall it looks really clean and yeah it's just pretty good settings up by heart but yeah, oh, I'm out, Matt. Oh my god! What? I swear I hit 190. No, I mean 90. I'm so bad. 164 FPS. I just saw. Yeah, I'm so te I'm terrible. 77. I wanna focus right here. 200. Um, yes, minis, I guess that's something. Yep, I don't think that sensitivity difference made anything up better. Damn, 120 FPS, the graphics look insane though, I can't lie. Oh my god, I cannot edit. How did I get that one? Um, pom pom, I'm gonna take that. I'll pop this. Take kinetic lead. Oh my god, still 120 FPS, still really, really good. Well, it's the same guy from earlier. What is he doing? And then we're gonna quickly kill this guy. Where does he think he's going? Oh, wait, I have plenty of mats. We're gonna clip on this kid. Oh my god, why are you running? Alright. How is he not crouch it? Oh, that's probably why. Damn, I'm terrible at the game. I'm really just getting free kills. That's probably the only reason I have like nine kills. Bye bye. I'll take the mats. If I wasn't sure it is. No. I did. At least I killed somebody. Sit down. 70 No, I was about here crazy clip 
How many grapples do I have? Damn. Still 121 FPS consistent. Overall, that's basically all you need to be able to play really smoothly, to be honest. Like I said, I barely noticed the input delay. I just got one pump. Oh my god. But overall, this console is really, really good. I can't lie. Obviously, the input delay wasn't actually, you know, that much. And also, to five and for sending the Ampli game D6, it's one of the best dream decks you can get, especially for the price of only around eighty dollars. Overall, it's really smooth and it just looks really nice. It also has RGB, but obviously, I can't plug it into my console right now. But overall, if you guys are trying to check out anything, definitely check out the five and Ampli game D6. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one.